Giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rahakwadash, the warners to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's sincere, Shalom to the Akim that's out there pushing in sincerity and the truth and the sound doctrine. Really quick video, another extremely quick video. Brooklyn pastor, Bling Bishop, sentenced to nine years for fraud and extortion. Man, Lamore Whitehead. A flashy Brooklyn pastor nicknamed the <laughs> nicknamed the Bling Bishop was sentenced Monday to nine years after after being convicted of using a parish owner's uh retirement savings and trying to exhort or I'm sorry, extort a businessman. Okay. Uh, again, not very much to say on this video. I've been doing uh, quite a bit, of, uh, quite a bit of videos, um, on these pastors lately, because uh, the Lord is really, really sifting things now with these pastors. You had, you had, uh, two, two of them stepped down last week. Two prominent ones stepped down last week. I did a video. I think it was maybe yesterday. I think it was. I think it was maybe yesterday, where. A well-known bishop, I'm sorry, well, well-known pastor had agreed with us about about the Israelites being the slaves. And now you got this. These pastors, look, there's a lot of stuff happening. I think I think I mentioned one yesterday uh, that I didn't do a video on. I think one, another one was sentenced as well for for. Um, he he claimed it was a uh, he admitted to an uh you know acted inappropriate towards a a little girl or whatever you know so they, and now you got this situation here sentenced to nine years for fraud and extortion this pastor is just the one it's just the one that got caught there's there are many others that are being caught now this has been this is nothing new and they, and he is not the only one this is about 99% of these pastors out there. Christianity is being exposed big time. And whenever you have somebody named that bling bishop, that's somebody you don't go to. To hear the word of God, to hear the word of the Lord, there is nothing godly about that. A bling bishop, there is nothing godly about that. That comes to show you how much of a joke Christianity is because anybody really serious about the word of God wouldn't wouldn't dare talk you call themselves bling bishop wouldn't dare even think about it you, where, where do you see all these other you know religions out there with these other heathen nations doing stuff like that man because they actually serious we had we had it was a it was a Muslim you know, they be going around with them with them ice cream trucks. When we were standing there at camp, this Muslim literally got out, mm -hmm. laid a mat down. He laid he literally made laid a a, a mat down in front of the truck. <clears throat> he got on his knees and started praying. Now, while they heathens, you can see how you can see how much more serious they are. Than we are. You want to know why? Because we're enslaved. We we are in captivity. We are under the curse. This is what we're talking about. They keep their they keep their stuff, and everybody wanted they, they went to go buy you know uh, wanted to buy some ice cream. They said, oh no, don't don't bother him. He's praying. Don't bother him. Our people said, don't bother him. He's praying. But if we but it but when we out there, we doing we doing. Everybody's got a problem with us. That comes to show you that we under the curse, man. But. This guy here, and again, this this guy right here proves, and he was robbed. He was robbed of his jewelry. And that same man that got robbed of his jewelry is now facing nine years. Yep. Hey, man, the Lord ain't no joke, man. The Lord ain't no joke, and that's that's how you people are, 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 are treating it, man. So, like I said, a real quick video. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4. It says, For the weapons of our of our, our warfare are not carnal, but mighty 
through the, through Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai to the pulling down of strongholds. <clears throat> one of the biggest um one of the biggest uh strongholds is Christianity. And and that stronghold is is literally being pulled down right before our very eyes. And all I could do is face the east. Yahweh, Kohalayimla, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rahakwadash. So all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rahakwadash. That's all, I, that's all I can do, man. You just praise the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, for casting down these strongholds, man. I just saw another pride parade shooting. You know what I'm saying? About, I think it said it killed five, or was it killed or maybe injured five, whatever the case is, right? They say here in Baltimore, you know. No idea how true it is, but uh, they say here in Baltimore, a chemical on, on uh, was released, you know, injuring people on on you know in a property in Baltimore, downtown Baltimore, right? <laughs> so the Lord is really casting down uh, these 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 strongholds, and with that with that pride stuff, you know, what I'm saying with that pride homosexual stuff. That's all Christianity as well, because we rolled by a church, and it was it was homos coming in and out of there. We it was big big nasty this big nasty nasty woman, ass all out, bending over right in front of the church, with with the with the rainbows on and stuff like that. I mean she she was just this she was just sloppy, she was sloppy. You see in all these all these you know, wrinkles in her, in her legs and stuff like that. And she had a nerve to bend over with that little short. Man, that was the sickest, man. That was one of the sickest things I've ever seen, man. There's nothing godly about that. But you know what that is? That's all Christianity. That was in front of an evangelical church, man. Absolutely, absolutely madness. You had a pastor, or at least what seemed to be a pastor, had a tight pink had a tight pink uh uh uh, uh suit on. Mm. The Lord is casting down these strongholds, man. And part of a part of casting them down is us doing these lessons in these videos, and is us going out there on the highways and on the hedges. That's all part of the casting down of strongholds. That's all part of it. Verse five. It says, "Casting down imaginations." Okay, and every what does it mean by those imaginations? Because it says casting down those strongholds, right? Uh, it says a reckoning confutation, yeah. It says a reasoning such as uh, is hostile to the Christian faith, exactly. Christianity is hostile against the Christian faith because this world's Christianity is not Christianity. Because they support everything. It's, a, it's Juneteenth tomorrow. What does Juneteenth have anything to do with 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 serving the Lord Yahweh by Shemi Shai? If anything, that goes completely against it. Because you're referencing the enemies again, man. You know what I'm saying? What does that have anything to do? With our people being free, our people were still in slavery when that when that crap was established. Fourth of July. This is why I really hate the summer months, man. You know what I'm saying? They the most bitter months to me. <laughs> right? It says a reasoning such as is hostile to the Christian faith, and that's. <clears throat> That's these pastors, excuse me. That's these pastors. <clears throat> Got crazy allergies today. It says, um, <clears throat> and judgment, decision, such as conscience passes. Okay, so that's what this scripture is talking about with those with those imaginations. Because, you know, any any average word, you know what I'm saying, would be just, you know, imaginary imagination. What is imaginations in, in this scripture was what I just now read. That's that's why you gotta go into words. Because everybody would think of imagination just being okay, well, anything you just imagine, right? Well, as you see, I, I that's why I wanted to show just that 
little little example as of to as to why you must go into words. Anyway, it says casting down imaginations, right? Remember things that are hostile to the Christian faith. It says in every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of the most high. You see that? It says, in every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the, of the, of the Most High. Christians say, um, you know, we're not under the law, so we can just freely sin. You know, we're under grace. Grace, see, and, and now, now you have to go into the definition of what you, like, what do you mean by grace? Because your definition of grace and the Bible's definition of grace is completely different. Because by you saying that we're under grace, that's just a, an excuse to say, yeah, I, I could, I could just, you know, keep going off. I could just do what I want to do, and that's not what grace is. Grace is for something that you that you absolutely cannot prevent. You can prevent commit adultery. You can prevent eating pork and stuff like that. You can prevent celebrating these these wicked traditions, man. Because they're not of the Lord. They're not. They're not of the Lord. Yahweh Abba Shimei Alashai. They're not. Okay. It says, um, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of the of Yahweh of Yahweh Shai. <laughs> okay. Saying that name Jesus is a sin, man. Saying the name Jesus is is against the Lord, man. And you, you Christians will sit up there, yeah, his name is Jesus. It's, it's Jesus. And we ask you to, well, how how do you know his name is Jesus? You gotta prove it. We prove to you how, how his name is Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. We proved that to you. So this is um and having any having any readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. So that's all I got on this, man. You know, the Lord is casting down the imaginations, and this is just this is this is just more good news, man, and that's what I'm going to title it. You know, another pass to bite the dust, man. This is more good news. You know, I pray, I hey, man, I praise the Lord every single time I see stuff like this, man. This 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 is just one more one more stepping stone as to completely casting down all these strongholds. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, giving all praise on the glory to you. How about Shimia That's all I got on this. Shalom.